Welcome viewers once again to your amazing sports show, The Grill Show. And last week we talked about the possible teams that will be pitched against each other in Qatar 2022. And last week Friday, it was finally done. And once again in the studio, I'm not here alone. I have two amazing guests. Our usual guest on the left, Opoyami. <laughs> it's nice having you once yes, again in the thank show. Thank you. And this week we are having one wonderful sports guru. And it's not a person than our wonderful and beautiful <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> it's good to have you with us, Deborah. Thank you. How are you doing? Very well. All right. And just like we rightly said, the World Cup draw was done on Friday. And we will be going straight into it. First of all, uh, we'll would be reading out the teams that were pitched against each other. Group A, we have Qatar, the host nation, pitched alongside Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. In Group B, we have England, Iran, United States, and one of the European teams for playoff, which is Scotland and Ukraine. We know that that game was postponed because of the war that is going on in Ukraine. It will play some other time. They are pitched in Group B. The winners of that will be pitched in Group B alongside England, Iran, and USA, like I rightly said. And in Group C, Argentina find themselves once again in Group C. Unfortunately, Nigeria should have been there, as usual. As usual. But this time, we are having another green nation representing us, which is Saudi Arabia, <laughs> Mexico, and Poland in Group C. In Group D, we have the defending champions, France, with another playoff team, that is from Moshina, either Australia or New Zealand alongside Denmark that did very well in the just concluded Euros and Tunisia, the North um, African country. And in Group E, we have Spain, another playoff qualifier, where we have Germany and we have Japan. Uh -huh. In Group F, we have the All-Star Belgium and a very exciting thing that we talked about last week, Canada that topped the North American League. They would be there featuring for the first time. We have Morocco and Runners up in the last uh, World Cup, we have Croatia. Yeah. I'm in Group G. We have the highest uh, team that has won the competition so far, Brazil. We have yeah. Serbia that pitched Portugal in the qualifying series to qualify for the Mundial. We have Switzerland. And we have Cameroon that did it decisively against the Algerians in the final playoff. And in the last group, Group H, we have the European team. We have Portugal. We have Ghana that pitched out our very own nation, Nigeria, out of the qualifiers. And we have Uruguay, another revenge mission for the Ghanaians, and we have Korea Republic. So, starting with you, Okwe, okay. I mean, having seen the World Cup draw made, I mean, we are Africans. That's right. So, let yes. us start from the African. Which of the teams, I mean, among the African teams that have been pitched so far in the World Cup, which of the teams do you think huh. have a chance of qualifying from the good straight into the round of 16? <laughs> it's a very tough one. But I still feel this group H with the, the, with the tenacity Ghana is playing with. Anything can happen in football. We know what happened between Ghana and Uruguay in the last time. Mm -hmm. That Suarez had to just do handball yeah, and, and red card. Mm, yeah. So with the way they are playing now and the zeal Ghanaians have while playing, I feel they should be able to qualify out of Yes. The other Africa. Yes. So you pick Ghana in yes. Group H alongside Portugal, Uruguay, and Korea. Yes. Over to you, Deborah. <laughs> uh, I mean, which okay. of the teams do you go in Africa? Why would you even go for Ghana in the first place? <laughs> it's my In choice. as much as I would say they have the tenacity, like she said, they still played rubbish. Rubbish. Mm. That day with Nigeria, they still played. The both teams played rubbish. Mm. If Ghana should take that kind of play to the World Cup, they will not. I'm sorry, I'm not sure they will win their first game against Portugal. It's not, I don't even see that yeah, coming, yeah. Mm. except Jesus wants to come and play for them. Mm. That mm. will not work. I'm so sorry. So, I would rather go for champions of Africa. I think Senegal, yeah. Senegal. Yeah, yeah. So, Senegal. I think they have a better chance okay. of qualifying. qualifying. They have yeah. Qatar, the host nation, we have Equator, we have the Netherlands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I still think Senegal can go through. Okay. Regardless, just as you said, Ghana, anything is possible. Yeah, it's yeah, football, it's football. football. Okay. but you never know. Okay, not, not, not just. Generally now, I mean, this having this work of all fixed and what do you think is the team that could This year, I noticed there are no really group of deaths. You know, usually there are a group of, of deaths. deaths. This okay. year, it's just the blah, blah, blah. So, I, I don't even know what I'm rooting for. This time? But this time, I would say let the best man win. Best let the man best man. team win. No, no, I think I, I, I think you want you to pick one team. If you're going for one team so far, that's why no group of deaths. What team are you picking to win the World Cup this time? A uh, favorite to win the World Cup, I think, right now is Brazil. 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 No sentiment, Brazil. Okay, going for a sixth trophy. 
I mean, yeah. being eaten as money the most times in Brazil. Yeah. So you tip them to win, have another one to make they've it had, six They've time. had good games so far. They have good, game, good better games. Better than so the rest. All right. Over to you, man. Who are you picking to win the World Cup? African or generally? General. Okay. I, I'll pick Portugal. Portugal? Yes. Is it because you have Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> there? I would have gone. I know I'm a Ronaldo oh, fan, but come on. Uh, okay. Come on. Okay. That is just my choice. I feel Portugal will still do something. Why? Why? Yes. See their last game, we still check what they've been playing so far. I feel, see, and this is uh, this is um, a World, World Cup. Cup. Yeah. The group stage is just like tip of an iceberg. Mm -hmm. Everybody's coming with full force. Okay. Because you want the because you are the current African nation. If you go and do African uh, African Champion, champions, so. if you go and do rubbish there, they will beat you out. Irrespective, because like we have yeah. Qatar now there in the Senegal group. Did you hear what she said? That she said just like Chelsea, rubbish. And we'll get to that. Uh, we'll no, to I that. never hear that. <laughs> 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 I did not hear. I'm we'll serious. I did not. We'll get to that. I did not hear that. that. Uh, uh, we'll that, that. We'll get that <laughs> okay, so definitely. That's what you okay, so what I'm saying is, I I feel even if Senegal, I will know that they are the one leading in Africa now. If they go there to do what I don't understand, rubbish. they are going back. They will not even do don't anything. be surprised. Oh, no, we have Qatar. Thing we <laughs> yes, we have Qatar there. Group A, for goodness sake. Yeah. Qatar, yeah. We should not say there'll be favoritism, but then they are hosting. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? We have Netherlands. Are you serious? The Hollanders are no now. So I should just let's just pick Portugal. I feel they might probably do something. Probably yes. do something. We have Bruno Fernandes. We have Cristiano. Nobody's Ronaldo. talking about France we have, though. Uh, France. We have friends. I'm France. not sure they have even this cap. Well, I'll prefer Portugal. Well, Portugal. just like you have it from my guest, they've said one said uh, Brazil. One I said. Portugal and both teams actually slug that group G and group H will actually be facing this one way or the other in the course of the competition so far. Coming into the league this week, we had some exciting results, we had some mouth watching results, we had some shockers. <laughs> I'm talking about shocker in the EPL. The current oh, world yes. champions, the current UEFA <laughs> champions, no the third Please. team, one of the best teams in England currently, talking about Chelsea Hi. and our first team <laughs> lost woefully to a newly promoted side, talking about Brentford having scored going ahead first, conceding four goals in the space of 15 minutes. I will not come to your first. <laughs> Debbie. Let me hear. Did you? Did, I mean, you saw the game. Oh, Everybody expected Chelsea. I mean, what do you think? What can you even say about the match? What that, that was a shocker. For I don't weekend. know whether the international break affected you guys, mm. whatever it was. But then I'm sure Brentford will be grateful. At least they used you guys to escape relegation. Mm, but just, like, but just like they say, they say we rise by lifting others. Maybe Chelsea actually. But did then that. I feel sorry for Rudiger the most because that his goal was too sweet too. Mm. <sighs> I, I, but think, then, I think you should go for contender of the best goals of the season. Yeah, unfortunately, like, you guys have to collect. Mm. So it's normal. You guys should just take your loss. I mean, man, you fine. I'm used to it already. So we just. But what you're saying, you guys? I mean, she is, <laughs> not me. me <laughs> no, and no, I, you bloody Chelsea fan, man. Really? Oh, Yo, come on. <laughs> so we know how to take losses. She so. doesn't admit there. You guys okay. should just take it you in, take okay? It. okay. Take well, it in, take as it. a Chelsea fan, I mean, <laughs> she had called us, I want you to represent. As a Chelsea fan, what what went wrong? I think you you have better answer. What went wrong? I mean, Chelsea have had 13 games unbeaten. Okay. Losing only, uh, like drawing only one game in the course of those 13 games. Winning all. What happened? I haven't taken the lead in less than 15 minutes. Okay, you know, it's I, the last video, I said it that games now, if, if it's not... Let me put it the city where way. I said it the last time. Mm -hmm. If you not, if you check the first half, I guess we've never even had many chances like this. You mm -hmm. see Tony everywhere, any ball. You see Tony, Tony, Tony. You yeah. get. And then I made, I made a statement that ha, this breath, if people are not careful, they will beat us. Soon. And yes, they did. And then I feel most times if we come back from international, we should be frank with ourselves as a Chelsea fan. Yes, I know that each time we come from international break like that, is it that we draw? As slight as in, it is always slight for us to win. It's not always like. Okay, Chelsea struggle to win. So yes, we usually struggle to but win. But some of the Brentford players, talking about Christian Eriksen and the likes, yes, they actually went they for. They are not. of the three. I'm not saying the team now, irrespective of the team. Okay. I'm just saying. Plus April, I don't know. It's not our boys. April. You guys are just coming up with stupid <laughs> excuses. I heard someone excuse say this. I heard someone lost. say this morning that lost and Chicho, no he has deal. an issue with his wife. So that's why. No, oh. 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 That's what Chelsea oh. fans, you guys. Now you guys. Mm. Now you are going back to history. Saying Wait, April is not always our month. We always. Come on, take your loss. I think she's trying to make it. Calm down. If we are. 
talking about things, circumstances that might probably make you lose. I said it before, they are seen and unseen forces. Mm. You don't expect me to have issues with my family, and then I'll come to the state to give you 100%. I might just pretend to be. And wise people are not like that. Get it? And friends that might probably come out to tell you, oh, because of this thing we lost, because they are just trying to look for excuses. These are Chelsea we fans. We No, they, every yeah. fans do okay, so It was so a Chelsea fan that made the sorry. statement. No, sorry, they that's do what I'm just trying to tell you. Yeah. Okay. But what has, what has family issue to show having a family issue okay. with his wife having them getting divorced got to do with the players on the pitch okay I now guess. sorry uh, let, let me just complete this oh, okay. chelsea they, they didn't really create chances that mm -hmm. much they scored a wonderful goal yes. you are playing at home you had the full backing of your fans in your stadium okay. getting the lead first Even against a team that now. is at the relegation position Scoring four goals against okay. a team that you barely consider even one. Okay. Consider four. What else? Well, you 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 my question, your no, question. No, 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 I'm <laughs> angry. I'm trying to say Okay, back, back to the question now. Thank God you made mention of fans. If you check the stamp form, it wasn't full. Even the shed end was empty. Let's be frank with ourselves. Fine, we have issues with the sanction and we were winning back to back. Yes, no dispute about that. Mm -hmm. But because of this one game you lost, fine, it was because of the play of the coach now. I, I wonder how you put our wing. See, many things we lost and there's no dispute about it. You, you Nobody, guys, you know we I mean, lost. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we lost for one reason or there's a way a lot you of guys look just... very disorganized yes. because i was watching the that highlights is, this morning yes, it was now. i one was putting a hand on his head. i'm like don't you it was that's just it wasn't it didn't feel like it was chelsea that, uh, hey, that's what i'm saying it that international too. break all these things you don't you can't tell me that if i have issues with my family and i come to i won't be productive let the frank with there was head. a time when that's lost his wife he, it was you know he wasn't go didn't he keep what, what there's no excuse there, there's no there's not even excuse okay don't bring your family i'm trying i'm trying to even say something i'm saying in essence is they are seen as unseen forces in football. Okay. And your family. Let, yeah, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Please run up. Okay, let me tell you. Unseen <laughs> and seen <laughs> forces. <laughs> let you me, guys should let just take your loss. Whether you saw the thing coming or you didn't see it, take saying, your loss. Take it I'm in. I'm saying it there are okay, things okay, that will still warrant the loss. Okay. okay. Statistics will tell you why you lost. Okay. Even if it's not your family issue, and it's all this one is just by the way. And You're people will just want to. And funny enough, eh? Funny enough. Uh -uh. The start is there. We babe, babe, the relax. And what you I'm lost, saying, you essence, lost, you lost. I'm not disputing that fact. And what I'm saying, in essence, now is that this game, it was our fault. And even the issue of marriage or no marriage was even after the game we heard of it. So we don't even hear of it. So before. why is it? Yes. Yeah. And that is why I'm saying that. Don't just bring it at Chelsea fans. That, that is what I'm trying to. It was a Chelsea yes. fan right. that made that statement. All right, sorry. So you have so it.